Hey guys, welcome to another craft beer review. And before I go on the review, real quickly, just want to give you a real quick channel update. Um, what I did was I made some playlists up that you guys can check them out. And I made them up so the playlists are all by letter grade. So all the A's are on a playlist, all the B's are on a playlist. Now to get to these, you go to my channel and you click on playlists and you can get them. I have the beer mail playlist and then I have some other uh, things like, you know, videos that uh, mention me or like a call out video or something like that. But I think this is a good opportunity for some of you guys that are newer to beer or even the veterans of beer that, hey, you know, you're looking to get a beer. Let's look at the A's. Let's look at the B's. Let's look at the C's. Go do some price checking when you're in the store and say, hey, you know, Bitter Poet Man, I mean, he gave that one an A and it's the same price as this C. So it's a no brainer and I like that style, etc. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I wanted to mention that in the beer mail video I just did and I completely forgot because I'm an asshole. So on to the beer review. We're gonna be finishing up the three Floyds with their flagship beer, Alpha King. Now this is a pale ale, uh, 66 IBUs and 6%. That's a lot of sixes and scares me a little bit. We're going to go ahead and get a crack here. I'm going to use a pint glass to pour it in. And uh, it should be about 40, 45 degrees. Should be. It's been sitting on the fridge a little. It feels a little cold, so maybe it's a little under, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So we're going to take this cap off here. And uh, get a pour. There we go. Well, I did a little bit of that side pour stuff, so I didn't get much of a head, and that's kind of my fault. I know that going in. Um, this is a definitely an orange color, uh, a darker orange. This is this is a really nice color, just something really nice to look at. Uh, from the head, I have uh, very small, fine bubbles, a few big ones, you know. And uh, you can see right through it, so I'm going to assume this is a filtered uh, ale. Let's have a smell, see what we get. Oh, big time hop aroma there, some citrus. Big time hop aroma. Maybe a little pine in there. Definitely um, uh, a little maltiness too, but overall on the smell, I'm gonna say it's mostly a hop smell, mostly a citrus with a little hint of some pininess and some malts to it. That covers smell. Yeah, we're on a fucking roll now. Smells great though. I mean, just a really nice aroma. Anyways, we're done with smell. I already said it, we're done. Let's have a drink. Cheers, fellas. Ah. Oh. Well, that is outstanding. Real, real hop. A lot of hops up front, but it's not um, IPAs and some other real hoppy beers. A lot of times you get it up front, like grasp at your tongue, rip it out of your th throat bitter, which is great sometimes. This still has a lot of that hop characteristics, but not nearly as bitter, but definitely strong on the hops. No alcohol taste whatsoever. I'm gonna say medium body, it's pretty heavy. But there's a little bit of that citrus and pine on the on the back of the palate. But no alcohol taste. You know, six percent you probably shouldn't taste it, but gotta mention that. It's like we're getting a little lacy, and I would have liked to see it with a, with a nicer pour. Um, to have a little swirl, see if we can't resurrect the head here. Yeah, not not really gonna happen for me today. Um, this probably should be a little warmer. It does feel a little cold. On the second smell, I, I get really the same. Sometimes, I, like I mentioned, sometimes my smell will change a little bit. The aroma of the beer once you drink some of it. And this is pretty much right where it was in the beginning. Oh, man. But real nice, nice hop flavor. Um... If you're not a hop guy and you don't like 
the real hoppy beers, I'd probably stay away from this, even though it's not quite as bitter as an IPA style. Uh, pale ales are usually pretty bitter, you know, usually pretty hoppy. And uh, this is no exception, but it's just a different kind of bitter. It's a different kind of taste. It's very unique. I've had plenty of pale ales to uh, judge this on, and this is just outstanding. You can already tell I'm leaning towards giving this son of a bitch an A. But I'm going to take a quick break, finish this off, really enjoy it, and uh, I'll be back with my final grade. Dig? Oh man, that is just quality business. Uh, again, we're talking about the Alpha King Pale Ale from Three Floyds. Um, that's an Insta A. That was really tasty, really something. Uh, thanks again to uh, Shotten for sending these. Uh, this was great. I had a lot of fun reviewing the Three Floyds stuff. Always cool to get stuff that I can't get around here. And real quick, before I let you guys go, on the side here, I noticed it said something. It says, Alpha King is an American pale ale with bold citrus hop character. We brew all of our beers for our own demanding tastes. So if you're unwilling to compromise on your beer, we urge you to try it. I thought that was interesting. Well, that's it. Alpha King pale ale, you get an A. Three Floyds, you are win. And we will see you on another craft beer review. Don't forget to check out them playlists. Uh -huh.